Hello everyone. Let us see how to hide and show a particular element or a section using JavaScript and CSS. Let's get started. We have a users button and user section displayed. When you click on the users button, we need to hide this user section. And when you click users button again, then we need to bring up this user section back. In the industrial HTML, we have button and section with the user section CSS class applied. Generally, if you like to hide any element, we can simply use display property with value none. So on the user section, we can simply say display none, then it's going to be hidden, right? But we need to do it programmatically. We are going to hide and show this section. So let us access this in script.js. Let's go to script.js. So let user section document dot query selector and we are going to access with class name so dot and class name and if you'd like to hide it programmatically we can simply say user section dot style is the object and then display property and we're going to set the value none that's it but we need to hide it on button click not on the page load so let's cut this statement let's write a simple function so function so hide users and inside that let us use it and we need to call this function on button click so take this so use the event called on click on click and we are going to call the show hide users like this save it now let's click on users button now we successfully hide it but how to bring it back if you click on users button again it's not going to coming up right because we are applying display none now to do that we can create a flag or a variable so just refresh go to script.js and here let us create a variable let each show equal to true because by default we are showing it so inside the show hide users function we are going to add a condition if each show if user section is showing then just hide it and make this each show false right once you hide it then make it false now click on users and if you click again what happened it comes here since issue is false is not going to execute this right now we need to write the else condition so else in else part what we need to do we can apply block now once the user section is shown we need to make issue true now click on users now it executes this statement then click on again there you go now we successfully hide and show this element or user section right this works perfectly well but here we have created a flag and also we have written 10 lines of code so instead of that we can simply use a toggle function of class list object and we can do it very easily so we can comment this entire code control kc and just define a function and here what we are going to do take this user section so user section dot so it is going to have a object called class list class list dot and it is having the function called toggle so it takes two parameters a string which is nothing but a class name and a boolean value so i will tell you how to use the boolean value also we are going to use the class so let's say hide and i am going to define this hide so go to style.css and here say say hide and remember to hide the element we are using the display none right so let us do the same here so display none and here we are using that so now click on users button it's hidden and you click on users button again it's showing right now we are successfully toggling this user section just with one line of code right so we have written hardly one line of code and now how this toggle works now go to elements tab and here you observe it we have this user section when you click on the button it is going to hide the hide css class see here now we can see that now user section and hide and when you click on the users button again it is going to remove it right so this how it works but what will happen if you already having this hide section applied to this user section let's say if we have hide css class applied which means by default we are hiding it so what will happen now if you click again 
it is going to show it right it still works so how this toggle function works so this toggle function will check if this provided class is already there then it's going to remove it otherwise it's going to add it if we go to elements tab we have already this hide css class applied right here you can see that hide css class applied if you click on users it is going to remove it and if you click again it is going to add it so this way we can simply use the toggle function to hide and show the particular element or a section and one more thing as i said this toggle function will take another parameter that is boolean parameter so here we can simply use let's say is show we have right just uncomment it and now we have the value true right now simply say true when you click on the users button unlike before it is not showing up now so because so whenever this boolean variable value is true then it always adds this provided css class whenever it is value is false then only it will remove it now we can simply say is show equal to not is show i am sure you know how this statement works so whenever is show value is true then we are saying not true means it assigns the false value and if it is false then not false it assigns true value so by default it is true so whenever you click on the first time it is going to assign the value not true means false so whenever it is false then it is going to remove this hide css class and if you click again then now the value is false so not false means true then whenever it is true then it is going to add the hide css class hope this is helpful if you like this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos